Hey guys, Chris here for Toolman's Guitars and Basses. In today's Guitar Tech Tips, I will show you how to swap the nut on a guitar. In this series, I want to show you how to set up your guitars and basses and how to fix the most common issues without using too many special tools. We showed you how to fill up the nut in an earlier episode. You'll find a link in the description box in case you want to check that out. That's only a temporary fix though. So let's see how you swap the nut if it's broken, too low, or if the slots are too wide for the string gauge you want to use. In case you enjoy Guitar Tech Tips, make sure to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell. First thing to do as always is remove the strings. Use a scalpel to cut around the edges of the old nuts to avoid the finish cracking. It's time to remove the nut. You can use a wooden block and a hammer to carefully hit the nut loose. It's very important to hit it sideways on Fender guitars and Fender style guitars because otherwise you would break off the front edge of the fretboard. Clean the slot under the nut. You can use a fine metal file for that. Measure the original nut and reshape the new one to the same dimensions. I'm making a bone nut, so I have a lot to saw and file. Make sure to wear a mask, bone dust is very unhealthy. If you go for a pre-slotted Graftec nut, you have way less filing to do, obviously. If you want to see how that goes, check out our DIY guitar upgrade video. The link is going to be in the description box. Oh! I highly recommend using a special string spacing ruler to mark the nut slots, basically. You can also get away with a caliper if you're really precise with measuring. File the slots, but don't go deep just yet. You'll finalize the depth once the nut and the strings are on the guitar. Also, if you want to improve the tuning stability of guitars with three left and three right tuners, just like Gibson guitars and acoustic guitars as well, it makes a lot of sense to slightly fan the nut slot for the D and the G string. Just make sure that the nut slot is pointing exactly to the tuner.
When you're happy with the dimensions and the shape of the new nut, you can polish it to look super classy. You can use micro mesh sanding pads for that and uh, it should go from like 1500 up to 12,000. Put on strings and tune them roughly before you glue the nut. This way you can figure out in time if everything went well. Now you can glue the nut with super glue. Don't use more than just a few drops, otherwise you'll never be able to remove the nut again in case you need to swap it in a couple of years. Now you can fire the nut slots to their final depth. Don't forget to tilt the file to the headstock to avoid string buzz at the nut. It's best testing how deep you need to file with the strings. Push the string down at the second fret and test how much space you have between the bottom of the string and the top of the first fret. If you want the string height as low as possible, there should be just a tiny bit of movement. And that's pretty much it. I tune the strings and take the guitar for a test ride. Meet you down there in the comment section and let me know if you have any questions left. I'd also love to know what you want us to cover in this series. Don't be afraid of setting up and fixing your guitars yourself. It's time to become your own guitar tech. One bit.